Welcome to Cyber Physical Systems Lab at Rutgers University. In this demo, we'll show you a three-dimensional visualization of our proposed coordination solution for underwater gliders using acoustic communications. To study dynamic oceanography phenomena, there's a need to take measurements in space and time. For example, to study the spatial variations, we need to take measurements of different signs at the same time. On the other hand, to study the temporal variations, we need to take measurements of the same sign at different times. Current solutions include using static sensor networks and using only one autonomous underwater vehicle for one mission. These solutions are limited with respect to their application domain, scalability, and consistency. These limitations can be removed by using multiple AUVs. To take the measurements in space and time efficiently, these AUVs need to communicate and coordinate to form a team in a specific formation and steer through the 3D region of interest. Current solution rely on satellite communication for team coordination. In these solutions, AUVs need to surface every few hours to get the GPS locations and control information. This may lead to high coordination error and inefficiency in energy and time, and it's not scalable. To address these problems, we propose a solution based on real underwater acoustic models and gliders. Given the number of gliders to form the team, the formation geometry, and the end-to-end -end plan trajectory of the team, the gliders needs to form a team in a specific formation and steer through the region along a planned trajectory while maintaining the formation. This figure shows an overview of our proposed solution. Basically, two phases of operations are required to coordinate the gliders. During phase one, the phase for team formation, gliders that are scattered in a region need to move to the specified geometry formation locations without colliding with each other. After this, for phase two, the team needs to steer through the 3D region of interest along the plan trajectory while maintaining the formation. The glider that surfaces last and obtains the latest GPS location is selected as the team leader, while the other gliders act as followers. In this way, we can use the latest GPS information to correct the coordination errors. Our solution controls the pitch angle alpha and yaw angle beta to steer each glider and keep the formation. In the beginning of the team formation, the leader runs the formation mapping algorithm to find the best matching between the initial positions and formation positions. Our team formation algorithm minimizes the time to form the team formation while avoiding glider collisions. All the gliders then move toward the positions assigned by the leader. Now let's start the demonstration for phase one. It demonstrates the team formation process of using three underwater gliders. These gliders were initially scattered in a 3D region, and they need to form a team of equilateral triangle formation. The ocean current moves along the x-axis with speed of 0.1 meters per second. We also assume that the plan trajectory is along the x-axis. Once we started the program, we can see that six windows are popped up including four windows of 3D visualization of the underwater glider team and two more windows for performance metrics. Let's first take a look at the four visualization windows. The top left window visualizes the movement of the whole glider team. We can maximize the window and do the 3D rotation. This slide shows a legend for our visualization. This picture is captured after the mapping optimization problem is solved. As we see in the visualization, each glider moved toward their map position. The trajectory of each glider and its corresponding formation point use the same color. In the beginning, each glider sends its location to the leader, which is visualized as the glider with the transparent sphere in the head. The leader then solves the optimization problem and sends a packet to tell each glider to move to its corresponding position. Phase 1 stops when all the gliders are vertically aligned with the target positions. In this demo, we only consider the sawtooth trajectory of the gliders. Due to the angle constraints, 
The gliders may not perfectly reach the target positions. The spiral movement of the gliders will be added in our future work. The remaining visualization windows visualize the movement of each glider. These windows can all be maximized and rotated in 3D. Next, let's show the performance metric plot. As shown in this slide, for phase 1, we have two metrics. Parameter error, which is plot in white, is the difference between the actual formation parameter and the expected formation parameter. The second metric, which is plotted in green color, is the distance of the actual team centroid to its expected team centroid. As shown in this plot, our team formation algorithm is effective in reducing these two metrics. For phase 2, we have an additional performance metric. The displacement error plotted in red is the average distance of a glider's actual position to its expected position. Phase 2 team steering is divided into two subproblems. The first subproblem is to steer the team to follow the planned trajectory, and the second subproblem is to maintain the formation. In our solution, the team leader is responsible for following the plan trajectory, while the followers are responsible for keeping the formation. We use a hybrid approach to keep the team formation, depending on whether the position information is absolute or relative. The relative position information is obtained by extracting Doppler shift information from ongoing opportunistic interglider communications. This hybrid approach reduces the communicational hype for position information. Here is the demonstration for phase 2. It's the continuation from phase 1. And this demonstration was fast forwarded. In this demo, we can see that the gliders coordinate well with each other. And they're moving in a synchronized manner. Know that the gliders run the algorithms in a short period. This leads to the frequent direction change of the gliders, as seen in the visualization. From the demonstration in phase 2, we can see that the parameter error and the displacement error is very close to zero. While the deviation error from the plan trajectory keeps fluctuating between zero and a threshold value. In this case, our steering algorithm is effective. As a comparison, we do a demonstration using the satellite communications. Here, the gliders surface every two hours to get the GPS information and exchange control information. They adjust the pitch and yaw angles upon receiving the control information from the satellite. In the remaining time, they just keep steering using the previous pitch and yaw angles. Again, the demonstration is fast forwarded. The other demonstration parameters are the same as the previous demonstration. From the 3D visualization and the plots, it's shown that the parameter error, the displacement error, and the deviation from the expected position are much greater than those in our proposed solution. The movement of the gliders are not well synchronized. This shows that our proposed solution using acoustic communications works better in controlling the coordination error. This is due to the timely update of the position and control information using acoustic communications. We further try our solution on two additional different color models. One model is the constant ocean flowing along the y-axis. The other model is the dry ocean color model, which has the circular velocity field, as shown in the slide. By comparing the performance of our proposed solution with the solution using satellite communications in different cases of ocean color models, we can see that our proposed solution obtains less coordination errors in terms of the parameter error, the displacement error, and the deviation from the expected position. We last compare our solution with the solution without any coordination, where each glider just steers itself to the destination without any coordination. From the performance metrics figures, we can see that our solution is better than the solution without any coordination. In sum, by using the underwater acoustic communications, our team formation and team steering algorithms offer an effective way to control the coordination error. Our next step is to implement our solution on the real gliders and test it in the real ocean environment. Thank you for watching.